you look like old woman. Mia has got many more teeth coming in. Ugh. Mia, say hello. Say good morning. So it's midday, but good morning. Ah, she's been with my nieces all morning, bless them. They've had to deal with a little tantrum because I've had to film for her burst. Did she not have a nap? Why are you rubbing your eyes then? A two hour nap? <gasps> a two hour nap? It's so funny though, they watch my vlog even though they live in the same house as me and they're like, you cut your hair! <laughs> they find it so funny, I'm like, I'm sure you were just downstairs. Oh my god, we're going to attempt to take her eight month pictures. Oh, she's grumpy, she's a grumpy one. Let's try a funny one. She's such a nightmare, stuff like this. <laughs> no, put it on! Put the ball on! Skis! Put the bow on. <laughs> oh look, one second before the gorgeousness goes. Let's quickly capture it. Let's quickly capture it before. Thanks for your honey. Let's capture the gorgeousness. Oh, just take a minute. Just take a minute. Right, we're gonna try and quickly take a pictures. James. Oh. <laughs> Where'd you get off? Sorry guys, I feel like that was a rather hectic um, intro to the vlog. But yes, today is Monday. Fresh start Monday. Fresh start Monday. And I have just been busy all morning filming for Hairburst, which is coming out on my Instagram later on this week. Um, actually, I'll just speak to you about it a little bit. I'm not obliged to speak to it. Speak to you about it on here, so it's not an ad on here but yeah i've been working with them because they were like we've got these hair products do you want to try them out just see what you think i tried them out and i really liked them well <clears throat> i'm still using the hair vitamins so i'm yet to report back on that and the shampoo and the conditioner but i've been using the volume spray and I, i've used it today and i do genuinely really like it so i was like i'm like you know on need to tell you guys about it basically um so i filmed that this morning and then that's due to go live i think at the end of the week on instagram what's the matter what's the matter she's getting so many more teeth come in and they're just at the top i can't imagine what she's gonna look like when they do come in but yeah it's nice that she sit down now and be able to spend some time with her however i say that but i'm really craving a jacket potato and there's a place and they do like the nicest jacket potatoes and stuff so i was just like marcus you fancy that for lunch what's the matter and he said yeah so i'm gonna head on there and grab that but i'll take memes with me let me take you with me you wanna go say hi to nano i thought i'll take her to go say hi to my mum via the window um so yeah i thought we'll quickly pop by and stop by at my mum's as well <laughs> mashallah i'll put there and that's it then i mean that's the only work that i technically have to do today however there's obviously always other work that needs to get done whether that's housework or just work that i should be doing in general um i do have like another video i want to film for instagram but i've just lacked the motivation why are you being grumpy everyone gonna see you and think you're a grumpy child yeah look they're gonna think you're a grumpy child but you're not a grumpy child this is not a good impression memes. She's so funny, she gets frustrated, she goes <laughs> Do it. I think she's hungry to be fair, she needs lunch. Come on then. So yeah, I'm going to head out and grab the food for lunch because then it saves me from making anything. I'm not quite sure what we're eating tonight either. Oh, this will be my sister calling me back. Yes, I'll catch up with you guys. This might not look that appetising to anyone else, but that cheese is melting out, so it's so good. I got jack potato with beans and cheese. I wasn't going to get a tuna panini, but I settled for this because I didn't want to wait for it. I got all the salad and some cottage cheese on the side, and oh my god, it's really good. 
I've got me and Bean and Potato and she's just not interested so. Oh my god you guys, sorry I just had to put me in to sleep. Um, but it is late, late, late right now. Oh my god, all the drinks need finished. Um, is it? I think it's seven, so me has gone down to bed. And honestly, I can't tell you where the time has gone today. I woke up this morning and I filmed the hair stuff. Oh, let me get there. I filmed the hair stuff that I told you about. Um, however, I am my own worst enemy. <laughs> I would never call myself a perfectionist but sometimes when I do like work um, for a brand and if I'm not 100% happy with it I will redo it and I wasn't 100% happy with it so I'm gonna be back up super early in the morning to refilm I mean I sent everything across to be approved and no doubt it probably would have been but I just thought I could do better so i'm gonna try and refilm that tomorrow now which means any i schedule my week out and any work that i had for tomorrow i'm now gonna have to either try and squeeze in or push back but honestly i can't tell you where's the day gone at least i woke up like bright and early and then started filming and i finished that at midday went out to get food and literally no idea no idea where the day has gone i didn't actually even get to take mia to go see my mum so it was all oh, yeah very very weird i was gonna take her when we got back but then by the time we'd got back and it, it got it got late and mia was tired so i was getting her ready for bed and my goodness um marcus <laughs> i need to go in a sec because marcus upstairs and he's heard the announcements that are happening and he wants to book a holiday bear in mind nothing you can't go until june he's like i want to book one now i was like it's so uncertain still but he's just so sick and i don't blame him so my of everything he's like i just want to book one and then we know it's there although it's, the, he assumes the prices will go really high so <laughs> i now need to talk him out of doing that but mia's passport came today so i think that's what's like pushed him he's like now nah, i'm doing it although mine needs renewing but actually have you any of you guys like booked a holiday let me know like for the future or are you still thinking that it's too uncertain like me to even think about booking something i'm sorry i don't know what i'm gonna end up doing this evening i'm not cooking anything either because my sister made like egg handy so it's like an egg curry and we're just gonna end up having that to be honest which is good because it saves me from cooking so it means i can catch up on any work that i need to do this evening although i think I'm probably not going to because I do want to start having evenings to myself as much as I can. currently 9 p.m mia woke up again and just refused to go back to sleep i don't know what it was but she's ended up waking up so i think if i try to put her back to sleep now she should go down i managed to get a little bit of tidying done in the, little, in the dressing room because i'm filming there bright and early tomorrow so obviously getting it done today saves me that tomorrow and then i can go ahead i'm gonna have to go and for today and focus on her because she need a lot of attention putting to sleep tonight i can just tell it's gonna be one of those nights i am incredibly sorry today the start of the vlog has not been anything i don't know even nice for you to watch i don't think so i'm really sorry please bear with me tomorrow is a new day and hopefully i'll be able to do a lot more i'm hoping to get up really super early and get all my filming done for like 9 a.m managed to finish another chapter on the productive muslim if you don't follow me on instagram you won't have seen but i ordered that off amazon and honestly like you guys know i love to be productive and it just combines islam and productivity and i love that book if you're struggling to be productive or if you want to look into methods of introducing it into your life i would highly recommend are you dancing you guess no drum 
Like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so a child was to stop. Ow! You literally got your knee in my stomach. I would highly, highly recommend that book. I'll try and speak to you a little bit more about it in this vlog if I remember. But if not, it's like £13 on Amazon. Um, I'll link it down below for you as well. So you can go ahead and pick that up. It's definitely a really good read. And I've not finished it yet. I think I'm on chapter 3 or 4. Four. I can't remember, I literally just finished one. <laughs> but I really enjoyed it so far and would highly recommend it. So many like tips and food for thought in there, I'd say. Definitely a new way to look at things, some things you might already know. Um, but it puts everything into a different perspective and really does tie in productivity and Islam in like a beautiful way, I think. I would highly recommend that. And then also, I finally got my hands on El Quran El Karim and I ordered that off Amazon as well. And I think it's like sold out in a lot of places and wherever you can find it, it's a lot more expensive. I think I paid more for it than what it generally was at because I think that's been on TikTok a lot. But I saw it on there and it's got like everything colour coded like the the meaning the translations subjects in there so i'm so excited to get my hands on it and give that a good read as well and look through and finally understand what it is that i'm reading instead of having to jump you know because i feel like the i think from what i've seen the english in this Quran isn't too like old english it should it should i think it's explained in like a different way i don't know i will update you on that but i thought that's uh, lovely to get that now and then hopefully start getting one more knowledge in before obviously ramadan's around the corner as well which is nice something to look forward to so yeah i just when i get that i'll give you an update on that as well if i can find a copy of it i will link it but if not just try a look on amazon and every so often it comes up um, I ordered my sister one as well actually and yeah I'm going to leave it here for now for today I'm so sorry Hello vlog, uh, no I'm not going anywhere, I just filmed, refilmed the um, hairburst stuff that I wanted to film, I then filmed an outfit video because I've come to the conclusion right, if I can't get out and get pictures like today, it's an awful windy day and I didn't, I had work to do so I didn't really have time to go out for a walk and because I like to just go out for a walk and naturally grab a picture, whatever, wasn't the case for me. So I have decided that I'll just do a reel instead of the outfit on Instagram and I hope that sort of keeps me going if that makes sense uh, but I was just on my Instagram stories and I just showed people the outfit that I showed you guys um, see you get exclusives on the vlogs <laughs> the outfit that I showed you guys a couple of vlogs ago um, I'll leave the links for everything down below and if I don't leave the individual link you'll see the link for my 21 buttons and all my outfits are on there anyway um, but yeah I just wanted to quickly show the Instagram people these bits from H&M and then actually there's like two other knits which are very nice and I'll, I'm sorry if you follow me on Instagram so you've already seen this but in case you don't I'll quickly show you now as well just so you can see them and hopefully grab your hands on them before they go out of stock because I think one of them's in sale and the other one's like quite popular so I can't bother to get changed into back into jeans anytime soon so I'll just quickly show you with these Hishnam leggings but this is a jumper uh, like a shirt style jumper from in the style such a beautiful knit like I just love this so much it's like a it's like a thick knit so it's really nice and cozy and honestly I had just this on the other day I actually didn't even have a vest on underneath when I went out and I think it was on like 14 degrees and I'm a person that gets cold very quick and honestly I was finding this like the sun was out it was nice and 
it was just really nice and cool wear a piece and not have like a coat on on top after a long time although I do love like coats as you know yeah I just thought this is such a beautiful piece it does keep going out of stock but I think at the moment it is in stock so hopefully it will be when you guys have a look I got it in a size 10 but you could just stick to your normal size because it's quite I think naturally it's oversized anyway if you want it a little bit more oversized then just size one up I could have got away with an A easily it's got really nice deep pockets at the front I won't really put anything in there because you'd sort of damage the knit but absolutely beautiful piece love it and this is one that I definitely pull out next like winter as well or like next autumn and just because of like the colour it's like a greyish colour I think they call it really nice stone colour I would say it's just not going to go out of style like the colour and of course you can always wear it like open I would say if you wanted to wear this on a bit of a warmer day if you had like the option to take it off or whatever you could wear a white bodysuit underneath have this open have like some denim on and I think that would look really nice as well so you have the option but yeah I just wanted to quickly give this a mention so next up is this cardigan this one is from misguided I should definitely wear in this with jeans because it's not flattering on me at all with leggings <laughs> but this one is from misguided and I was actually searching for a pearl cardigan because I quite like in the cardigans that have pearls on them and I saw one from another store but it was it was expensive and I recently bought like an expensive cardigan from them I think the one that I got was like 120 pounds so it's definitely more of like an investment piece <laughs> and because I just bought that one like a couple of months ago I was like no I can't do it I can't like I'm not that rich <laughs> where I can spend 120 I mean I don't normally spend that much on cardigans anyway I don't know what I was thinking but anyways I thought it was a really beautiful piece so because I picked that up I was like no I can't pick that one up because yeah it was on the more the pricey side but anyways whilst I was searching this came up so now this isn't pearls these are like little polka dots yeah like a polka dot style on the jumper I just thought it was a beautiful this one's actually in sale so if you do want it you're gonna have to just go ahead and shop for it straight away because it is going out of stock um, and I just thought it's such a beautiful colour it's quite thin and then coming up in like spring this tucked into jeans such a classic style cardigans and jeans like knitwear and denim just go so well and they come back in year after year I think I mentioned this on Instagram but I'm definitely trying to when I shop I generally shop more high street anyway well actually everything I buy is high street more or less I always tend to go for pieces that aren't just trend for the moment like because of this isn't got this doesn't have like any uh, abrupt pattern on it or anything like two in your face definitely one you can bring back out in this coming autumn next spring and you can wear this and year after year and because it's like a waffle knit material that should last you and the material should not like go crap I, I never know what the English word is it shouldn't spoil <laughs> because of the type of material it is because that's one of the dangers I think when you buy not necessarily because it can happen to expensive stuff but like when you buy more on the high street is that you do get a little bit worried about like the quality but quality of this seems really nice and like I said the style is one that you can bring out time and time again it's on sale for like 19 pounds at the moment it's got like little balloon not a balloon sleeves but they're a little bit like the shoulder line comes quite far down i just think it gives it a really nice relaxed fit so yeah i'd say if you want this just grab your hands on it as quick as you can i'll leave the link down below for you but yeah just another beautiful piece i thought was definitely worth mentioning and showing and with like gold jewelry you guys always know where like my daisy jewelry is my daily jewelry so i just think it falls really nicely with like the golds and stuff and that's actually one thing i want to work on this year is building up more of my jewelry collection because i have like the same pieces and I'm not too bothered about switching pieces up I kind of just want to have like these I just wear them every single day and I'm absolutely fine with it but I just want to add like a little bit more just in case like maybe like a thicker ring or a signet ring and I'll still wear all of it all at once when I probably shouldn't but <laughs> back to the clothes yeah i just thought it was a really nice piece to mention and show you guys so i'll leave the links for you down below and you can shop if you want this i got in a size 10 to 12 but i could have got away with the six and the eight so i would say just sort of stay true to size with it and it is cropped so if you don't like cropped cardigans it's not the one for you but if you don't mind them and like took them into jeans then it's a nice one <laughs> Hi, so yeah. guys, I decided that I'm going to take uh, Mia to go see my mum because I didn't take yesterday so before Hi. it gets dark because she will just be visiting from the outside. Uh, don't copy this outfit probably. I've literally just chucked on some ASOS joggers, <laughs> that cardigan and the H&M coat. We're literally just running out anyway and then we'll be back in the car. So I'll catch up with you guys when we are back. Hello. Yeah. 
What do you call me? So we are back now. Mia is asleep and in bed. Uh, Marcus gave her a bath and then put her to bed, luckily. I nipped into Tesco, so we're having chicken wrap and chips tonight. I didn't fancy that. I wanted chicken with like these packs. If you're ever wanting tasty chicken, but you're in a rush and you, or you can't bother to cook, these are fab. You don't put any oil in the pan, just put your chicken breast fillet in the wrapper, fold it over, put it in the pan and just cook it until it's done. Really nice with like just veg. A great way to get like lots of taste on there. So very nice, recommend them. They're the Maggie packs. Uh, so yeah, I wanted that with veg, but I, my niece, bless her, she prepared the chicken and I completely forgot to mention that save because we defrosted it <laughs> save a bit for me so it looks like i'm having chicken wrap and chips as well because <laughs> i really didn't fancy it but as long as i'm grateful i picked up some signature mocha italia signature blend smooth and nutty with notes of caramel ground coffee for cafetiere or filter someone said to me i was using instant coffee uh, one of you guys said to me in the comments i was using instant coffee and i should be using ground coffee in the coffee machines so that's probably why i'm not been getting the exact like formula i want so i picked this up i mean i'm more of a starbucks girl myself however they didn't and starbucks only had whole beans and i don't know how you ground coffee beans and i don't think i can bother to learn so i picked up the costa ones so i thought they should be quite nice but i was really like there's a lot of choice so if anyone could recommend like their favorite ground coffee beans i'd really appreciate that i saw some that like said colombian on them and I thought, oh, that sounds like quite nice. What's that? I don't think I've ever had Colombian coffee. But if you can recommend any nice ground coffee beans that I should try with my little coffee machine, then please do let me know. And I said to the girls that we'll sit down and we'll sort of play some games. Hopefully, if Mia stays asleep, we'll try and oh, put the fan on. It's shocked to find out it's just going to smell of oil. I didn't want chicken wraps because the whole house just smells of frying afterwards i'm not a fan and i said to the girls that we'll play some like ludo or we'll play some uno as you can see is our game of choice at the moment we like play it almost every night <laughs> so comment today and i haven't had time to sit down and reply to it so i thought if you're watching this i'll reply in here someone asked why they've been staying with me since lockdown there's no reason there's just my nieces generally used to come and stay on the weekends and stuff anyway and they're an absolute pleasure to have. I think I've said this before and there's no particular reason, but they're just amazing. And if I need them to like watch Mia for a little bit, they'll watch Mia or like in the evening, the nice company to have. And it's a nice break from them because they have brothers as well. So to get like a breathing space from them, I think is nice for them. And they can come here and do like their face masks and stuff. And I enjoy doing all that girly stuff that I of course can't wait to do with Mia when she's older. But yeah, there's no particular reason. So we're gonna get cracking. I have actually made such a mess earlier today because I've been like filming an Instagram reel so I need to go and clean that. But I'm just scared of making noise and waking me up. So I think it's gonna bug me. But I think I'm gonna leave it till the morning. So guys, I don't think I showed you this, but my Algaran Algarim came in. Um, so this Algaran has like the breakdown, it's colour coded, any subject you want like some information on. Um, it's got like a whole index and everything. 99 names of Allah SWT and the meaning in there. And I ordered one for my sister as well, so this is hers. Mine's in the drawer. I can't touch it and open it and show you because I don't have uh, Wuzu right now. But it was very hard to get hold of. I would highly well i need to read through it but obviously it's the ground i mean in terms of translation you find it really useful and it's easy to read and i'll let you guys know but yeah just thought i'd let you know this here i've just made a massive chicken wrap with cheese on there got some chips and then i fried some spring rolls as well because i had them in my freezer for ages and i only get the fryer out every so often so i might as well <laughs> hello guys sorry i didn't say goodbye yesterday but mia it was she went to bed and then she just decided that she did not want to be like asleep on her own anymore so i'd like go and cuddle her until she fell asleep again so i you know my, what my stance is on that i know people be like oh you get them into bad habits but i enjoy every single cuddle i get with memes and if she wants me to cuddle her to sleep i do it because i just think she's not going to be that small for very long and yeah i know i've said it like 
for ages but that's how I feel about it so yes I had to bow out of playing Ludo and quickly go and see Tamiya uh, we are we're actually just grabbing some fish and chips well I'm having like chips and cheese and Marcus on like chip body and Mim's having a fish whistle so we're just grabbing some fish and chips basically and then Marcus and I are gonna go and go for like a little bit of a walk and and see if I can try and get some content and if my sisters agree to have Mia again Mark's like you're getting too used to sending her <laughs> I was like no we just need a couple of hours it'll be nice my sisters want, wanted the girls home anyway so they've gone home to like, get a refresh what like they did last time basically so I was like oh okay then you know you can have memes for me she's like yeah all right then so it's fine obviously because we're in a bubble so we've got this I'm gonna quickly go to my sister's house and eat it and then Mark's not gonna head out and then we're gonna go home and I've got oh, well I need to edit this vlog today's actually Wednesday and you guys are supposed to see this vlog today but I've had an absolute nightmare morning like literally I woke up I had a doctor's appointment this morning and I was they usually send me a text message but they didn't send me one so I've been trying to ring them from nine o'clock this morning because I couldn't remember what time the appointment was I rocked up at 11 45 and she was like your appointment was at 10 45 and I was like yeah but I literally tried calling so much but anyways my appointment was for I don't know I find this a little bit weird because some of you said that like you watch this with your kids but it's, it's nothing like that it is it was for the appointment that every woman should get when she turns 25 and then you get it every is it every four years after that you get them like your test done I don't know but anyways it was that one which is obviously a very important one and I'm actually an idiot because I didn't have one um, when I should have had one and then obviously I had Mia and it just basically got delayed again and again and then the other day I just remembered I was like right I'm booking it and then I booked it and then this happened so I'm like oh for god's sake so if you've not booked yours please book it they are very important don't be an idiot like me and I'm gonna call them back as soon as I can get through to them and rebook my appointment but yes I am gonna I'm just waiting for my niece to grab the food and then we're gonna head on and then Mark's gonna go I'm gonna convince him he doesn't know that we're going for a walk here but I'm gonna convince him he thinks I'm just gonna like nip out and get pictures I'm like no we, we need to go for like a little bit of a walk by the way guys I think Marcus has completely ruined <laughs> I need to see if he has ruined these I said to Marcus a couple of stains on my joggers that I want to wear today would you mind getting the vanish I bought this like vanish spot cleaner would you mind getting that and just you know cleaning them he's like yeah and by the way these aren't the only ones I could some more there's one more on this leg so like, yeah i will do so he did it and he, get, and he gave it back to me while i saw in the shower and then i dried them and i was like why are these staining like these obviously uh, stain as to where he's cleaned it the spots but the stain's gone but why is this there so i asked him when i got into the car and i was like what did you not wash it out he's like you were supposed to so for god's sakes marcus now when i'm gonna go home and wash this out i actually don't know how much damage it's done if he's actually ruined my joggers <laughs> Where's my mushy peas? Where's my curry sauce? Where's, Where's our sauces? We've come out to get a picture for Irsa for the Instagram feed and we've come to a park. Yeah, yeah, satisfied that it's a park. Irsa doesn't want a picture to have too much green in it. <laughs> it messes up my feed. <laughs> so every time we move to a different location and we take a picture, like she'll go, oh, take a picture here. No, 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 it's too green, it's too green. We've come to a park logic he's exaggerating he's exaggerating and we are yes we're in a park but they have like walls <laughs> that we can quite our, our house has walls we could have got a picture there <laughs> i think a lot of you have not seen marcus in a while in the vlogs but just quickly you let you know because i don't know how much you can hear me it's because he's been ill but not corona ill just like generally stomach ache not feeling well um so that's why but he'll be in them a lot more now 
hey guys so Mark and I are back now I need to end the vlog here because I'm worried that I won't get it edited and up in time so if you see this the next day then I'm sorry you know what happened yes yeah, so we're gonna have a couple of hours I'm gonna go ahead and get this vlog up and then we're gonna chill for a bit then go pick me back up there's not a lot of substance this one so I'm sorry there's not like a general theme in it however the next vlog should be a lot better but yeah it was just a difficult couple of days i hope everyone's having a great week so far and then inshallah i'll catch a review on the sunday vlog and yeah hope you make the most of your week see ya